Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth tutorial in this tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to display our client in Discord, along with some statistics about the client and what the user is doing. Before any Java coding, we need to create a Discord application. To do this, you're going to need to log into your Discord account in your web browser, and head to discordapp.com slash developers slash applications. I already have this open, and so now we're going to click New Application. And what we're going to do is name it to the name of your client. So I'm going to name mine Example Client. I'm going to say Create. Now we're going to upload a few images. So I'm going to choose a neat icon, and I'm going to choose the Example Client logo. Um, I will put this logo in the link in the video description, but you can feel free to use your client logo or any logo you wish. So I'm going to say Open. I'm going to save the changes. Now we're going to click Rich Presence. Now we're going to go to select an image. We're going to choose the same image. Now we're going to add another image. We're going to say the same example client logo and we're going to just for this tutorial call it large because this is going to be the large image that's displayed on Discord. We're going to save the changes. Next what we're going to do is go back to general information and copy this client ID by clicking the copy button. Now, we don't need this exactly at this moment, but we need to save it somewhere. So I'm going to just go into Notepad, paste that in here, and just leave it temporarily open on my computer. Now we can close out of this window because we're finished. Next, what you want to do is download this, discordrpc.jar. I will leave a link to this in the video description. So what we need to do is download this and put it into our client. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the lib folder. And we can close out of this. Now we're going to go to Eclipse. So in Eclipse we're going to right click on client, we're going to do build path, we're going to add external archives. Now we're going to go to our coding tutorial, we're going to go to the lib folder, we're going to go to discord rpc. Now Eclipse is going to need to rebuild our workspace to make sure nothing has been broken. So now we need to wait for that to finish. Alright, once that is finished, we're going to create two new classes under our client name package. So the first one we're going to create is called Discord RP. In this class, we're going to have a couple of functions. Uh, we're going to have public void start, public void shutdown, and public void update. And we're going to give it two strings. We're going to want the first line, and then another string, the second line. We're also going to want two variables at the top, so we're going to do private boolean running equals true. We want private long created equals zero. So running is going to keep track of if the if Discord RP is running, and created is going to be the timestamp that we created it at, so then we can have a timer that counts up. Alright, so in start, we're going to say created equals, oops, sorry, this dot created equals system dot current time millis. Then we're going to say discord event handlers handlers equals new discord event handlers dot builder dot set ready event handler We're going to say new ready callback then down here we're going to say dot build so in this function we're, I'm just going to call this user as well so in here I'm going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to print a message. 
uh, that's basically just gonna say welcome plus a user dot username plus we'll put a the discriminator for the user plus user dot discriminator and just to make it look fancy we'll put a period at the end then what I'm gonna call is update and we'll just make it display the text booting. Eh, booting up, it's fine. And then we're not gonna pass, we're just gonna do an empty string for the second line. Then what we wanna do is we're gonna say discord rpc.discord initialize, oops, discord initialize. Then we're going to put the application ID, which we saved in our notepad. So we're going to copy that here. We're going to put handlers, and then we're going to put true. Then what I want to do is do new thread. Then we're going to just say dot start. And we're going to call this thread discord rpc callback, just in case we need to debug some things. We know what thread this is. Then we're going to implement the run function. And in here, we're going to say while running. We'll do this dot running. Oops, not this, sorry. Just while running. We're going to say discord rpc dot discord run callbacks in shutdown we are going to say running equals false and then we're going to say discord rpc discord rpc dot discord shutdown now for the update function. So what we're going to do is this is going to be able to display the text on our Discord and display the logo for our clients. So we're going to say Discord rich presence dot builder. I'm just going to call it B equals new Discord rich dot builder. Oops, oh, come on, Eclipse. Builder, and we're going to pass in second line. Then we're going to say b dot set big image. We're just going to call that large. That is the large image we want to be displayed, and then we're not going to put any text on it when you hover. Now we're going to say b dot set details to be the first line. And then b dot set start timestamp to be created. Then we want to say discord rpc dot discord update print. Then we want to pass in b dot build. So that's it for this class. Now we're going to create a new class, which I'm just going to call client which will handle everything in our client. So we're going to have a couple functions here. We're going to have a public void init and a shutdown function. Uh, we also want um, an instance for this class. So we're going to do private static final client instance equals new client. I'm going to do public static final client get instance. I'm going to return instance. And I'll expand that. This is one function. What we also want is um, one instance of the Discord rich present. So we're going to do private Discord RP 
We're just going to call it Discord RP equals new Discord RP. Then when we init, we're going to call Discord RP dot start. Discord RP dot shutdown. Then we also want a getter for Discord RP. So now we actually need to call these functions. So we're going to go to net Minecraft client Minecraft.java. And we're going to scroll down and find start game. So if we go here, we say right click open declaration, we can find where start game is. And so right at the beginning of start game, we're going to say client.getInstance.init. And then we also want when Minecraft shuts down. So we're going to just search for shut down and find shut down Minecraft applet. And right before this, we're going to say client dot get client or get instance, sorry, dot shutdown. So now these functions will be called. And if we run this now, we should see in the console that it will find Discord, hopefully. Yep, there we go. So you see, welcome Eric Goldie, and my Discord handle. So it has found Discord, but we're not actually displaying anything right now in Discord. So that's the next step. So I'm going to stop Minecraft. And what we're going to do is I want a couple of things to happen for my rich presence. I want it to display what server I'm on. I want it to display if I'm playing in single player or not. And then I also want it to display if I'm just idle in the game like just on the main menu or not. So what we're going to do is first do idling on the main menu. So if I go to GUI, and if I go to GUI main menu, where is, there is that? GUI main menu. Then what we're going to do is scroll down to init GUI, we're going to go client dot get instance dot get discord rich presence dot update. Then for the first line, I'm just going to say idle. And then I'm going to say we're idle in the main menu. You don't have to do that. It will just, this is mostly just showcasing the features you can do with discord rich presence. I'm going to do the same thing for the multiplayer menu. I'm going to say when you when we init the the GUI, I'm going to say client dot get instance dot get Discord RP dot update. We're going to say idle, and we're going to say multiplayer menu. Why not? So that's all good. But we also want it to showcase when we are playing single player and multiplayer. So what we're gonna do is in in multi or sorry in GUI connecting .java, I'm going to go to multiplayer GUI connecting. Now we're gonna find where it connects to a server, and so all the way down here where it sends the login start packets. Right below that, I'm going to say client.get instance.get discord rp dot update. And now what I'm going to say is playing. Now what I'm going to do is say playing plus ip and then if I'm, what I want to do is make it only display the port number if the port is not 25565, because that's the default port. So I'm going to say plus, now in parentheses I'm going to say port does not equal 25565, question mark, colon, plus port, colon, empty string. So it's an inline if statement that says, if the port does not equal 25565, then we'll add on 
colon and then the port number, else we're just going to display a blank string. And then I'm going to say for the second line, in game. Now this will work for multiplayer servers, but it will not work for single player. So that's the next thing we gotta fix. So in Minecraft.java, I'm going to close here, we're gonna go to Minecraft.java. Now we need to find where the integrated server is. So I'm gonna just search for launch integrated server. And I'm going to find the same thing where we find the login start packets. Oops, sorry, not the login start packets. We are going to scroll down. So right, right after the network manager with the login start packet, we're going to say client.get instance.get discord rp dot update. So for the first for the first line, I'm just going to say playing single player. And then for the second line, I'm just going to say in game. And so now if we launch our client, um, let me open up Discord. I will put Minecraft and Discord side by side. Sure you, should, you should see that I am playing example client. We have an elapsed time. It says I'm idle on the main menu. If I go to single player, you should see it goes to in-game, playing on single player. If I try to join 2B2T, it's not going to let me since I am an offline player. But until we quit out of here, you'll see we're playing 2B2T.org. If I click back here, we're now idle in the multiplayer menu. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.